know what he's saying. Yo, check this out, bro. When I was a little kid, I used to fucking hate waking up in the morning to go to school or whatever. And, like, I used to just dread that shit, you know? But, like, yo, I've been working, like, over 20-some years. And, like, I work morning shift and not just one morning shift. I told you I had, like, 20 professions. And in each profession, I had, like, 100 jobs. So I had morning shifts starting at, like, 5, at 6, at 4 a.m., at 7 a.m., at 9 a.m., at 8 a.m., at 8.30. I've had all kinds of morning shifts. I had all kinds of afternoon shifts starting at 12, at 1, at 2, at 3, at 2.30, at 3.30. And I had night shifts starting at, like, 6 p.m., and fucking 11 p.m., and 10 p.m., at 7 p.m., and you know what I mean? I, continental shifts, morning nights, like I had all the fucking shifts, bro, and, and it's like time is just man-made, so we understand when to meet each other, whatever, but, you know what I mean, scientists said a couple of years ago, like 10 years ago, that 24-hour day nowadays is really like 17 hours and shit, you know what I mean, it's, you know, it doesn't even, like, you live long, you live as long as I did, bro, you, you know, realize time don't, like, it doesn't even exist, bro, it doesn't, it doesn't, you could sleep and wake up whenever, Drink, smoke, do whatever, whenever. Like, it, it doesn't even matter what time it is. Like, it really don't matter. Like, in some places in the winter time, it's dark the 24 hours a day. Or, like, you know what I mean? Like, depending where you go on earth, like, things change, you know? It's who cares what time it is. It don't even matter. It don't even matter. I know uh, you still got your 800,000 hours on earth for 100 years if you live here. You know what I mean, don't matter when you sleep or wake up. It's, it's, that's the time you get, but... Check this out. So, so all my life I used to hate that shit, but like after I work all the shit, it never even mattered no more. You know what I mean? Like, I had to be somewhere at four in the morning. I wake up at two a.m., drive there two hours to be there at four a.m. You know what I'm saying? So, after like I got older, it, it makes no difference to me. I, it doesn't matter what time it is. I just don't give a fuck no more. From long ago, not recent, but I'll tell you right now, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. When I had my garden this summer that just passed, that was my dream. Not it wasn't my dream to have a small garden in some loser's house. I wanted to have it on my estate and whatever. But the way it was, it happened. I was just on the hammock and I'm like, yo, you got the garden right there. Like, you know what I mean? I sure it's not how you want it, but at least you could do a practice run. Do a practice run and bro, and everything worked. Everything fucking grew. Like I it was fucking miracle. It was fucking beautiful. It was my dream. Like I said, it was a small version of my dream. It wasn't really like my dream, my dream, but it, it was our dream time, like I said, on my estate, on my mansion, in, in my country, and whatever. But this was like a trial run, and it worked great, and it was fucking beautiful. And at nighttime, I would check the fucking weather, because, you know what I'm saying, if it rains tomorrow, there's no point for me to wake up early to water the garden before the sun comes, you know what I'm saying, because it's going to rain. So there's no point for me to do that. So I'll check the weather every day, and like... You know what I mean? Oh, if it's not raining, then I'll wake up in the morning and, and water the shit at like 6 in the morning. Because then the garden, the sun hits the garden about like 9 a.m. And, and like, you know what I mean? You don't want to fucking water in the sun when it's sunny out there, you know? And um, fucking, yo, I used to love it. And check this out. Sometimes the, the weather, the fucking weather network gets it fucking wrong, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes and... Yeah, sometimes they get it wrong and whatever. And it remind me when I was fucking young in elementary school. And, like, I think I was in grade 6 or grade 7. I think it was grade 7 after I quit school. But I was just fucking around. And I did a science uh, project. And actually won. I won the science project for the school. And the science project was I made a barometer. And the shit actually fucking worked, bro. And it worked every time. Not sometimes or some. Every time it was correct, bro. And uh, you know what, bro? I should go make one. And all you got it, you could grab a glass jar and fucking put a, uh, get a balloon and cut the balloon and stretch it over the glass jar and then put like rubber bands around it so it's nice and tight and put like a drop of super glue on it and put a straw on top and cut the straw so it's like, you know what I mean? And you put it on top like this and basically when the, basically the way it works is when the air, I can't remember which way it was, but the air expands when the when when the fucking humidity drops or whatever. I can't remember, but it's been thirty years. But it's one or the other. When one when the humidity drops or whatever, and the air drops and it makes the thing go up, so you know it's it's uh, gonna rain. 
or so I can't remember Wh whichever one. But when it goes up, it's gonna rain, or when it goes down, it's gonna rain. But either way, I can't remember right now, but I just smoke weed all day, and it's been thirty years. I don't even, pff, I, just, I don't remember. But I could look it up and figure it out for you and, and do it. But I did it doing that one. I, I won the science fair project with that shit, and it shit worked every time, bro. And, and like we put it in class and shit, and like we would know. If it would rain, and I had it at my house before and after that too, and I would always know if it's gonna rain, and like the next day, cause you see the air pressure drops. When the air pressure drops, fuck, I should look at it. I can't remember. Either when the air pressure drops, it's gonna rain, or when it goes up, it's gonna rain. But I think it's when it drops. I can't remember though. It's one or the other though. I, I wear the way well, it goes up and down, and it drops, and that shit, the air in the balloon go up and down and push the thing up and down, and and that's how you know. And I fucking was a science fair with that shit, and that shit was like it was always correct, bro. And like 30 fucking years later, these guys on the Weather Network with all this high-tech equipment, sometimes they still get it wrong, bro, somehow. I don't know how. But like, yeah, bro, like, you know what I mean? With a little glass jar and a balloon and a straw, I was telling you every day when it rains or not. And I was right every time, and every time it was correct. Like, some science project shit from elementary school, but it, was my, it wasn't a school, it was my science project. I went to fair with that shit. I'm saying, man, I was cool. Uh, I like shit like that. But yeah, like a uh, fucking yo, help me out, bro. Let's go build a guy. I'm gonna go build my house and all that. And we're gonna go build houses and lodges and all nine. Have the best garden on the lake with with boats to fishing and hunting and everything you want and smoking and fucking pigs full smoke the shit and you know what I mean tomato sauce from the tomatoes and. And jam from the berries, and you boil that shit up, and it, it smells amazing. Like, like shit I've only seen in my country. Like, I'm sure they do it other places too, but I've only seen that shit in my country, bro. Like, red, we'll make red wine and white wine from the grapes from the garden, bro. And it's like the white wine tastes, bro. These there's different kind of grapes for the wine, right? And like, there's different grapes that make different wines. And, and, like, in my country where I grew up at my grandmother's house, she had these sweet fucking grape, uh, white, uh, they were green grapes. And they were sweet as hell. It tasted amazing. I love them. They're sweet. But I looked into the winemaking thing, and apparently the sweet grapes, you make cheap wine with that. But, like, I don't, I'm not, I don't really care about none of that shit. I'm not making it to sell, to make money. Like, what, like, I'll make the stuff for me to drink and to, you know what I mean, to use it. And, like, me, I like what I like, so... I don't, like, when you, you want to make something to make money for sale, then, yeah, sure, make the better one to sell the better one to make more money, right? But if you're just making it for yourself, you make it according to what's your, your taste and what you like. So, me, I like those sweet grapes. And, like, I made the wine. I didn't make it, but the neighbor made it. And that shit tasted like the sweet, like, grape juice. But it's not a juice, bro. It's wine. And it's, like, 30%. And you drink a cup or two and you're wasted it. And like you never know, and they say yeah, dulce, she te dulce. Like it's it's sweet and it takes you. Yeah, dulce, she te dulce. It's sweet and it takes you, cause you don't notice. So you drink two cups, oh, it's just a sweet juice. No, nigga, it's some thirty percent wine. Shit will fuck you up, but it tastes amazing. It's hundred percent, and it's so sweet. But it's there's didn't add no sugar to it. Just from the sweet grapes, like the best wine I like the best wine. I don't even like white wine. This is the only white wine I ever. Liked in my life It was fucking amazing bro This was in my grandma's garden And I told a nigga I'm like yo bro This tastes like the grapes From the fucking garden I used to eat it when Growing up in my grandma's house He's like I, I used to you, I took those grapes down That's where I made it from I made it from those grapes He said I'm like no fucking kill me But yeah man You know ho Hopefully maybe this year If not soon bro I don't know bro I'm waiting for Jesus If not I'll go make a hundred grand or two Doing the flat roofing thing In a year or two You know what I mean And I'll go do it So, so we're doing it, bro. Like, it, it's not like when I was fucking 18 working for $6 an hour. I go to work, now it's 100 bucks an hour, 200 bucks an hour. Like, it's different nowadays, bro. You know what I mean? I'll go work my land and shit for free, but you got to buy the land and all that. Even in a poor country, that shit's not free. I got to pay for it. And I would have left last year with 40, 50 grand, but we couldn't leave last year, so I didn't go. And then I, I spent all the money. I gave, I didn't spend it. I was drinking. I might have spent a grand or two on, on alcohol and weed, but... I gave like twenty grand away on rent and the other ten grand last on the last incident. And I just and that's not including the other bills and the groceries and all that, bro. I mean like but yeah, yo, we're gonna do it just now, man. No one wants to help me do it myself. But yo, hopefully one day, you know, and uh 
Yeah, it's gonna be fucking great, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'll have I'll have like interns and shit come come and work for free on the farm just to get some experience and shit. And then like I'll tell you right now, bro, I I am gonna be doing it too. Like I wanna do it. Like you know, not for money, for, for like I like I like to do that shit. You see what shit I did in my own house? On top of the work for the re- owner and all that. I'm talking about all that garden shows a lot of work. Nobody was paying me. I wanted to do it. Like it's not work when you wanna do it. Like sure it is work. I was sweating, I had to do this, I show this. But like when you wanna do it, it's it's not like it's work like <laughs> you're getting paid some minimum wage to do some fucking slave job. No, bro, you you're on your property doing your shit for yourself and and I was picking the fucking peppers and cooking with them and yo it's the fucking yo that those tomatoes are the best tomato I ate in my life, bro. Like, yo. You can't put a price on that, bro. Like it's fucking amazing. It's fucking amazing. But we got to do it for real in my country where no fucking racist losers and haters come and try to f- make up stories because bitch niggas try to murder you and then the fucking racist losers come and try to make problems for you because you're at York Mills and they're not and they're a bunch of piece of shit racists that want to threaten you when you're handicapped after some bitch nigga attacked you. Nah, we got to do it in my country. Like, that shit would never happen if a motherfucker child had left him there and, and police in there would congratulate me. They wouldn't threaten me and fucking threaten me and try to, you know, take me to the station to fuck me up and deny me fucking medical assistance when I'm the guy that called for help when this piece of shit doesn't want to drop the knives and I already slapped the fire at him. I don't want to kill him because he's a fucking t-shirt wearing bum. I'm going to spend my life in jail for some t-shirt wearing bum and some sneaker wearing loser that's been around for 55 years and only amounted to being a fucking piece of shit con man that scams women in t-shirts and, and, and fucking running shoes, bro. And, and is that money like, nah, nigga, I'm not spending my time life in jail for some loser like that, bro. There's gonna be a million losers like that, maybe. Not for one, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you guys have a great day, bro. Have a great day.